All right, folks, my friends. Here I am at the track, and <clears throat> haven't been here in months. About seven months I haven't been to this track. This is my track here that I spent a lot of time on when I'm in Thailand. It's around this uh, little uh, water reservoir, little lake, whatever. It's got fish in it. Little small, tiny fish. They don't allow fishing anymore, but back in the day, you'd have uh, families and just uh, sitting around the lake fishing. Anyhow, I'm back here at the track. <clears throat> it's a beautiful, hot, sunny day here in Thailand. And folks, I am a fat bag of fucking donuts. I mean, I'm goddamn just fucking ashamed of myself, you know? When I left Thailand and started, you know, spending the majority of my time in the Philippines, when I left here, I was 145 pounds, like uh, 65 kilos, somewhere in there. Slim, trim, you know, going to Muay Thai, just a lean, mean fight machine. After a year of been laid up over there in the Philippines, fucking eating, drinking. Uh, yeah, you, know, you watch my channel, you know what I've been up to most of the time. Doing goddamn cooking shows, which I love to do. But I put on, what did I say, about 12 pounds, somewhere in there. I'm, I'm trying to convert in pounds because I was 65 kilos and now I'm fucking 73. And I'm ashamed of that shit. So, uh, this is my first time back at the track in a while. Now, I'll do another video about it, but three days ago I got fucking electrocuted. I rode 240 volts of fucking lightning for about five seconds and almost bought the farm again check out the video I'll talk about it cuz I'll show you what happened my heart's been fluttering ever since and you know my old man uh, shout out to your dad he's been fucking hounding me about going to the hospital and getting checked out I say, you know what, fuck that, because what are they going to tell me? They're going to tell me some shit's wrong, got to go under the knife, got to do this. Uh, fuck all that. I ain't going out like that. And I just don't want to know. So what I'm going to do right here today, I'm going to do a, at least a 5K, try to clip 10, test to check my cardio and check the old heart to make sure it's straight. And I figure like it's like this. If I make it five, if I can take my fat ass around this track for uh, five kilometers, then my heart's pretty without dying. Then I, I say my heart's gonna make it. I'll recover from this little electrocution incident. I'm shooting on a DJI Osmo Pocket. And I'm gonna shoot uh, 4K 60 frames, and I'm not sure how much of this footage I'll put in here. Uh, I'll check it because I've never, I've never done a long run with this thing. But I think it'll be pretty smooth, and I'm gonna get my uh, let me get my iPhone with my tunes going and my timer. See how long I can drag this fat ass around this track, folks. So I want to thank everybody for joining me here, and without further ado, it's time to get down to business. <laughs> Hell yeah! Fucking hurting. Moral of this story: Once you get into shape, don't let up off the throttle. Fuck it. Right, two laps, about 7:50. Alright folks, there's 30 minutes. I don't think that's 5k, but I lost track. How many times I come around the bend? It's just musical. Yeah, so usually I always forget how many laps I'm on. 
when I'm running a track, so I do one of two things. I need to bring my girlfriend, old lady, whoever, and have them work the stopwatch and how many laps I went. But usually, they screw it up too. I forget how many laps I've been in. They forget because they're sleeping. <clears throat> so normally I run with a GPS so I can uh, just for really for distance, that's all. We did 30 minutes. We'll take, play it back, see how many laps. I think I'm going to be shy of 5K, but we'll, we'll figure it out. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm fucking hurting. Why? Well, because I haven't been working out like I should. No fucking excuse. Simple fucking reason. I haven't been executing. I've been talking about it, thinking about it. But I simply did not put these fucking tennis shoes on. And now I got two nice bright orange shirts so I can run, you know, in the streets through traffic hopefully not get run the fuck over I got some running shorts no fucking excuse but we'll take that we'll take a 30 minute run in the heat whoo three days after getting electrocuted <laughs> riding the lightning so I don't know still feels like a little flutter and you know the whole my whole body is fucking sore from that incident so I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm still sore, but it, it does feel like I got a flutter. But I'll say this, if that motherfucker can take me around this track, fucking eight kilos over what I want to be, 73 motherfucking kilos in this uh, beautiful Thailand heat, I don't think I'm going to die anytime soon. So we'll, we'll take that for today, and then tomorrow we'll come back. Hit another 30 minutes, see if we push it to one hour. And I do got an extra GPS, so I'll know I'll bring that shit. But it's a beautiful little, little place to run. They got these little workout stops. You can stop and hit as well. I I don't really partake in that. I just come out here to run because there's no traffic and I don't get run the fuck over. I'll give you another look right here. And it's you know some some type of reservoir part of the water system. I don't know the full story <laughs> But just a beautiful little little hidden park right off train road Here patty Thailand So yeah folks, I want to thank you for joining me on this little Just a little workout video And I appreciate you joining me because getting this little camera out actually uh that motivated me to get my ass out to get here to do a little uh, little video for you guys so you guys motivated me about getting my fat ass out here on the track that's what they always say you know the hardest thing about working out or, or doing anything really is just getting out the door and that's true and that's why treadmills don't work you know what what's a treadmill that's a clothesline it's a clothes hanger a thousand dollar place to cl uh, hang clothes in your living room and stack boxes on the spot where you're supposed to run but yeah you gotta you gotta step outside the house you don't have to go to a gym just put some shoes on get your music step outside the house whether it's walk run go to the park do some pull-ups so everybody including myself we come up with these excuses why we can't work out. They're just all excuses, cop outs. No fucking reason. What a beautiful, beautiful day. That sun beating down on me. Alright, folks. I'm gonna walk a couple more laps just to uh, cool down. And I'm gonna hit the motorbike and head back to my spot. Alright folks, got the uh, DJI Osmo pocket mounted 
in the basket of the motorbike. We'll see how it's going to go.